So here we are at St Andrew's Lynx, the home of golf. And today we've got a session with Greg Patterson. Greg is uh, a former Scottish international who is now trying his look on the, the pro circuit. Uh, Greg's just come in today and he's had a, a time away uh, and he started to struggle a little bit with his driver. So we're going to take a look at a couple of shots with you, Greg, and uh, see why that ball's leaking over to the right hand side and also why we're losing a little bit of distance. So if we move in, hit a couple of shots for me, we'll go from there. Okay, so that's a shot, Greg. That's the one, is it, that's leaking a little bit to the right. Yeah. You can see from, uh, obviously we've worked together for some time now, I can see that that's losing a little bit of distance as well, uh, like you mentioned. Hit a couple more, we'll just get a, a few more for the Trackman system and then we'll, we'll take a look at these numbers. Right, okay, Greg, so just looking at some of the data there from those shots that you hit, um, we're just looking at the very last shot there, which you can see highlighted uh, on that dispersion screen. Now, first of all, angle of attack is positive. Of course, that's what we're looking for with a driver. That's great, but it's the next two points that we can see where the issue lies. You can see that that club path is definitely more from the inside than, than normal. Uh, the club face, of course, is, is uh, also pointing to the right-hand side. Now that should effectively have drawn back. So it must have been a, a slight heel face, uh, a heel strike, sorry. But we know, of course, this driver is quite hot. So your smash factor there is showing up quite high, but again, it was slightly towards the heel. And that's why the shot has just leaked over to the right-hand side. So again, these three shots are great examples of why we're getting a little bit too much from the inside. We're starting them right. We're losing a little, little bit of uh, ball speed and club speed uh, as a result of that and of course we need to get it back. Yeah. Now I've got some drills for you to do here and, and I'll show you exactly how and where this is coming from and that'll make those changes and get you back to where you need to be. Okay Greg, so I'll just take this club and if I forget you to stand opposite me here, I'll, I'll explain exactly what's going on. Now as we saw from the numbers there, the club was working too much from the inside, club face almost following that same uh, path as well, again that's why everything leaks to the right. So the reason that that happens is that you're not clearing your upper body and your hips quite soon enough. So what we're seeing is it's a little bit slow as it's coming down. The transition isn't quite working well. We're not clearing. The club works from the inside. And of course that is starting it to the right and it carries on in that direction. Yeah. Now what we need to do, and certainly when you've swung at your best, you've cleared that chest a lot more aggressively. Now again, if we slow down or if we come from the inside, we slow down and of course that's why the, the club head speed has dropped off from what it normally is as well. So as we see you now start to rotate and clear a lot sooner, that brings the club more in front of us. It's not getting stuck behind, it works more in front. Again, as that chest clears more aggressively, we'll see the club work a little bit uh, quicker. So we should see the, the shot obviously starting a little bit straighter with more speed and of course it's gonna go back down where, where it usually goes. Now, I wanna show you a couple of drills here that I want you to, to work on into your regular setup position. Then I want you to wind to the top as you normally would. But then I want you to transition to the left and really feel that your chest clears quite aggressively. So again, transition to the left, clear the hips and the upper body a little bit quicker than you're currently doing. So if you jump on there for me. So into your posture. Okay. Now work it back. Okay, and then clear that upper body. There you go. So no delay, no stopping, no pause, just rotate a lot quicker than what you normally would. Again, it'll bring the club more in front of you on the way down, and again, that's exactly what we need. Great. Okay, another one, another good drill for you here. If you take your setup position for me, now I'm just gonna put uh, my foot in front of the driver. Now I want you to push against my foot. So try and push my foot down the range. Now you can see as you do that, I only gave you the command, but naturally the upper body and the hips have started to clear. If you come back again, if you try and push my foot from this position now, you see that's not difficult. There's no power, I can't feel anything against my foot. Yep. Now again on your own, push, clear, yes, clear and clear, fantastic. Okay, just try practice swing first and then we'll uh, go ahead. So really clear that upper body a little bit sooner. There you go, that's fantastic. Let's pop one on a tee for you. Okay, the same thing.
Okay, Greg, come and take a look at this. Uh, this has changed significantly. Uh, this is really what we were after. Let me just show you uh, here. I'm just gonna bring in uh, the previous shot. So you can see the, the ones before the drills here. You can see leaking to the right and obviously losing uh, a bit of distance there. Uh, and obviously the ones that we've just hit, which are obviously a lot straighter there and uh, more down the middle. Um, these are the averages of the previous shot uh, across, or those previous three shots uh, across the bottom. So what we could see again was that path 7.1, obviously the face open as well. A little bit heel strikes they were, as we talked about. Clubhead speed down, ultimately their distance 259 yards. Now if we have a look at the new ones, you can see how that's changed. Now 2.1, which is much better. Um, we have got the wind, of course, a little bit off the left today, so you've been closing the club face down and a little bit of compensation for that. So the shots appear on here to be fading a little bit, but of course that's the, the wind holding them back. Clubhead speed, as I suggested, would go up, so that's back up to where we, where we like to see it. 167 mile an hour ball speed, very impressive. And of course the one you want to see there. 271 yard carry, so again a significant distance. So we're hitting it further, we're hitting it straighter, uh, that's obviously a winning formula for us, so well done, great job.